Hmm. The enemies must be close. Oh fuck. And really? Did I just tap two of them? Guys, welcome back to Izonzo with the gaming teacher. In this video I will present you the main striking force, also known as the assault class. Its main task is to pressure the enemy and make breakthroughs or to repel them. Like any other class, it is equipped with wire cutters, bandages, use them to heal your teammates and lastly we get a shovel. Though this is the only class, beside Mountaineer, that gets a proper melee weapon. To get to them, you will of course have to make some challenges first, but you can equip it in the secondary slot. The Italians get the Arditi knife, while the Austro-Hungarians get the mace. Both get the job done, they are not as cumbersome as the shovel. I still am not a big fan of them, and I prefer other options. As with some other classes, you will start out with the canteen, which makes you run faster. It might seem trivial, but in some cases it is actually useful, like if you need to rush to a point and stay there, so that you can allow your squad members to spawn on you. This can be done either defending or attacking. The next option gives you three grenades, yeah I know it says two but you get three, so that you can contribute to the grenade spam. Thirdly, we get a melee weapon that we already covered and lastly we get a different flavor of grenades though we only receive two. Let's cover primary weapons before we move out to skills. Assault class start out with carbines, a set, quicker rate of fire but lower damage. Secondly you unlock a pistol which is useful for clearing out trenches and then we come to the only portable automatic weapons, the Villar Perosa and Matsen. Both are unique in their own way and spread terror on the battlefield. However, they are limited on two per team. If you are using them, don't forget that they are also for suppressing enemies and not just for playing Crambo. Lastly, you unlock the carbine from the other side. For skills, you start with the Saboteur, which makes you quicker destroying barbed wire, spawn points, etc. Then we go to Grenadiers, which allows you to build grenade crates, so that you can resupply your grenades, and it also provides bonuses for your teammates, that's my favorite skill. Veteran makes you bleed out 4 times slower, which is useful in hot moments, yet I rarely find it useful. Support Gunner increases suppression from firing a machine gun, either a static or a light one. Quick Shot reduces the time needed to aim down your sight, which is nice in clutch moments. Always pick a skill that suits your playstyle or weapon. When playing on the attack, make sure to advance with your teammates and don't forget to crawl, as slower moving targets are less likely to be spotted than faster ones. Kill any enemies you spot as this will facilitate your teammates to push forward. Before storming the trench, use grenades or approach in such a way that you surprise the defenders. I like to build grenade crates in cover and throw even more grenades as they also work for distracting and discouraging the enemy. Use your faster firing weapons in your advantage and clear out the trenches and don't forget that you have a bayonet on your carbines. If need be, build a spawn point or leave that to an engineer. However, your task is not done yet. Try to go for the enemy spawn point and sabotage it. Never stop, keep the pressure up. You are the fighting fist. Still, make sure that you don't die pointlessly as your lives are limited on the offensive. Try to move in groups from cover to cover. Always try to kill any defenders you can see. Now, we go for the objectives. Basically, you repeat the steps. Also adapt to your weapon and playstyle, as achieving an objective can be done in multiple ways, find the one that suits you best. Either attacking or defending, pay attention to the map, so that you know where are breaches in the line, use them while on the attack and repel them while defending. Talking about defending, 
as an assault, I like to build grenade crates and throw grenades either at spotted enemies or where I'm expecting them to be. Replenish the grenades and repeat. You may also find a nice spot where you can pick out and take out some enemies, but keep your head down, as otherwise you will just get killed. Once the enemies are inside, try to drive them out. As a defender, it doesn't matter how many times you die, but still make each of your life count. Try to destroy enemy spawn points and build your own, moving groups or even alone if you manage to sneak behind the enemy line. But don't neglect objectives, as those decide who win and lose. That's why, while defending an objective, I do the same trick with the grenades, and I use them to kill, distract and discourage the enemies inside the objective or the ones approaching it. Sometimes it happens that you will kill yourself with a grenade, but most often than not, you will kill the enemies. Using the Villar Perosa to spray down your enemies, smashing their skulls with a mace or just stabbing them with your bayonet. I hope you found this video useful and destructive. If you did, please consider dropping a like, writing a comment and sharing my content with other people as this greatly helps my channel out. That's all for now, Gaming Teacher out.